What's up guys, welcome to your 6th C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over functions. Just the basics of functions. And since every program in C++ is going to be made of these functions, I thought it was kind of an important topic to go over. Now the first programming thing that we're going to want to do here is um, include some basic functions that are built right into C++. And these are going to be some ba basic math functions. So right by your include IO stream, we're going to want to include another library, and that's called it's called the C math library. So type include, and then type in C math, just like that. Now that we included the C math library we can use all the built-in math functions that C, S, I mean C++ has to offer. So let's go in our function body and give our function main some instructions. The first thing that we're going to want to do is declare our first variable. And to do this, we're going to want to use the variable type double. Double, just like two. And then we're going to want to name our first variable, we'll just name it num1 to make it easy. Now what double is, is pretty much just a real number, just C++ uses the term double, I don't know why, but they do. And that just means real number. So now that we have that, let's just output a basic task on the string. We're going to output pick your number and let's just end that line so it goes to a new line as you can see I have pick your number end line so right now all we have is the text pick your number and we're moving to a new line now we're going to want to assign a variable I mean a value to number number one variable number one so to do this use the CN now whatever number the user types in it's going to be assigned to the variable num1 so if they type in 12 num1 is going to have the value of 12 so again type in 82 so on and so on the next thing we want to do is get a new variable so first we have to declare double num2 I'll just make these easy for you but now num1 has a value but num2 doesn't so we're gonna say alright num2 is going to be equal to the square root of the variable number one so as you can see we now have made a basic function the square root and as you can see we don't need to type any extra code or tell C++ how to get the square root it already knows automatically and this is one of the many basic math functions that C++ has in its C math library so this is a way where you can make basic calculations without having to type a whole bunch of code so now we have the variable num1 which is going to be assigned whatever value we tell it and num2 is going to take the square root of num1, num1 and that's the value that's going to be in variable number 2. And lastly, let's just output on our screen the CR results. So C out equals, let's just type the square root of num1. I'll move this over so you can see the square root of the variable number 1. is num2 now just make sure to end the line right there and as you can see I can use these uh, two less than signs to join all of these strings together and I don't need to put it on every new line and that's another thing that can save you time when you're just outputting basic text on the screen so let me save this, compile and run it. Hopefully I don't have any errors. 
and as you can see it says pick your number and let's pick um 81 now press enter and it says the square root of 81 is 9 and again just to recap once more for the very first thing you can't forget to use is the C math because this allows you to use all these basic math functions declared our first variable allowed the user to say what that variable's value was then we took that and made the square root of it the variable number two and that's how we got our basic function so now study this learn all of your basic functions and get familiar with this and I hope to see you in my next tutorial thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel